It's Valerie Page here. Welcome back to Valerie's Corner. Yes, I'm wearing the exact same clothes as my last episode because, yeah, I might have filmed them both back to back in the same setting. <laughs> uh, oh, come on, everyone does it. So, yeah, of course, if you didn't see the last uh, episode in the holidays, I'm here at my mom's house for a little bit. Um, celebrating the holidays and so um, today I want to talk about my year in review 2018 god what a year it was huh there was a lot of ups and downs um, it was I guess for me it was one of very similar to 2017 it was extremely transformative it kind of continued a trend that I've been going with. Because if you've watched my show for any amount of time, like it's been a journey of me trying to get my life together, get my shit together, uh, being more responsible, building community, just trying to be a better person. And I started a lot of that in 2017, a lot of stumbles here and there. And I've continued that in 2018. I think. What, what, what started in 2017 is being fine-tuned in 2018, leading to some interesting stuff for 2019. Um, yeah, this year, like, when it started out, it was extremely, extremely rough. It started out as one of the worst years. Um, dealing with a breakup, a very, very, very painful breakup, which really kicked my butt emotionally, it kicked my ass. Um, but it did lead to a very positive thing of me quitting drinking. Um, you know, so there was that. And I think that alone represents something of this year. It's like, there's been some of the biggest challenges I've ever faced and some of the biggest emotional pain I've ever dealt with at least in a while, probably since 2012, uh, you know, but it, there was also triumph that came from it, that kind of came from the ashes, like the light that comes from the shadow. Uh, you know, so I broke, you know, we broke up, somebody that I really was in love with. Uh, in hindsight, we just weren't compatible. We actually did try again later in the year and it just did, it didn't work, it just wasn't there. Um, you know, but my sobriety, you know, that, that's something that really changed my life. Gave me a lot more focus. Uh, honestly, I saved a bunch more money. Um, and like, you know, going out and hanging out with people became less about, like, getting drunk or something and more about what was actually going on. Like, is there dancing going on? Is there live music? We might hang out with a friend, catching up, hey, how the hell have you been? I can be more, uh, more present for that. Um, yeah, and there's been a lot of good stuff. You know, it's been, it's been hard, there's been stumbles. I've dealt with a lot of uh, gatekeeping in terms of trans health care. Um, a lot of people who really, including people in the trans community and the trans health care community who really opposed me accessing like trans related surgeries and like you know I dealt with a lot of discrimination with that this year which was really which was really horrible um you know it was, it was hard because you know these are people who are supposed to have my back and they try to use the fact that I have like mental conditions like DID and bipolar disorder and whatnot as a means to explain away my being trans that's not good, but you know what, I fought, and I continue to fight, you know, with uh, a lot of your support, a lot of you have reached out over the year and told me not to give up, and I thank you all for that. And like, you just see, I got one, like I got, you know, got my new twins, um, been so happy with them. I have bottom surgery scheduled for May 30th. Which is already making, that means 2019 is already looking like one of the biggest years of my life. It hasn't even started yet. Um, you know, it's just like, you know, I, I'm now with a better clinic who supports what I'm doing and, you know, seeing me to the finish line with all this. 
What else? Um, I met a lot of beautiful people, um, including my current girlfriend. Um, if you're watching, honey, I love you. And, you know, just building more community with the ladies at the house I work at, doing my Dom sessions. Met a lot of spectacular people both last year and this year. You know, this is a year where I've had a lot of gratitude, and I think that's been a big theme of this year's gratitude, being grateful for things. Um, and, you know, grateful for community, grateful for, you know, doing what I'm doing and being able to do stuff like this and give back and, you know, being responsible and whatnot, and, which I'm still working on, but I am getting better. Um, you know, so, I mean, there's a lot, it, it was harsh, it was a hard year, but it was also a very, very positive year in that, like, yeah, okay, I have got my breast surgery, I met my current girlfriend, um, I am currently in a blues rock band, and we're doing some awesome stuff, um, I'm almost done with Jezebel, March 21st. It's going to be the release show at El Rio, if you're in the Bay Area. You know, and so there's a lot of things to be thankful for. Um, this is also the year my mom and I reconnected after a two-year hiatus. Um, you know, the year that I quit drinking. Um, you know, let, you know, not being dependent on chemicals and whatnot. And, Dealing with the emotional aspect, because you know like addiction, it's like the chemicals are the surface thing, but you know, it's like an iceberg. You gotta go down deep to see the full thing. And so like I had to really do a lot of work on myself with my emotional well-being and, you know, kind of deal with my own demons that I should have dealt with years ago, but better late than never. Yeah, so what I've learned this year, you know, is the gratitude. I've learned, press, I've become better at perseverance and patience. That's been very important this year. Um, you know, and just, you know, hard work, the importance of hard work. Because um, I probably worked harder than this year, more this year than any other year. But I'm proud of myself for that. Um, yeah. A lot of beautiful stuff. And going into 2019, I'm seeing some beautiful stuff there. There's going to be a lot of challenges there, too, I'm sure. But, you know, I'm looking forward to my surgery and hoping for a good recovery from that. Hoping for a successful release show on March 21st. Eight, August 27th is going to be my 10-year anniversary of coming out as trans. So I'm going to do something big for that. Um... Yeah, and there's going to be other big stuff that comes through. Anyways, uh, what about you? What's... Well, actually, real quick before I get there, some of, uh, some of my goals for 2019. That's where I kind of said. I don't know if that slipped my mind. Um, yeah, some of my goals are going to be continuing to do better. Um, I want to be better at patient, you know, practice patience better. Um, you know, I want to get, you know, I want to get my passport so I can travel. Um, I want to keep doing the things I'm doing um, and then just keep fine tuning it. Like, build upon the work that I put in for 2017 and 2018 and continue in like, like a trilogy, but you know, it'll keep going from there too. So, those are some of my plans for, for the incoming year. What about you? What are, what are some of your highs and lows this year? What did you learn from 2018? How, how did it treat you? And what are you looking forward to in 2019? Of course, you know, every year, no matter what year it is, I still see you and I still love you. And that's not going to change, you know. I'm gonna keep. I'm gonna try to get better at doing these more often. And yeah, I'll see you all. I'll see you all next year. <laughs> Love you.